Hello, everybody. This is Patrick and Bryce Fuller with Stone Security. Uh, today's webisode is going to be how to print a badge in S2. Simple as that. Go ahead, Bryce. Thanks, Pat. So in here, um, within S2, uh, well, the adding a person and printing their badge is really easy. You come into the people search. Um, we're going to pull up my profile here. Um, So here's my profile within S2. Um, we're going to go to the badging tab that's here. Um, if you don't have the badging tab, uh, then uh, what you can do is contact Estimating uh, to get badging enabled on your site. That will enable you to print badges. It's an additional uh, license onto your S2 system. And that will yep. and you send an email to estimating at stonesecurity.net. Very simple. Go ahead, Bryce. Thanks, Pat. So within the, the badging tab here, it's really easy. Once you've created the templates, which we showed in another webisode, that template will appear here in the badge layout. Uh, you can check request badge print, choose the layout that you want. We're going to choose a new credential. Now we're going to say we want to print it on our Salt Lake City Zebra printer. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to print that ID card. And it just set to the printer. And that's all there is to printing badges. Um, once it's printed, it will then pull up and it'll actually ask you to approve or deny the badge. So if the badge printed out funny, like the, the printer ribbon tour. Uh, you can actually deny that card, and you can put you can print another one for that person. That way, it gives you one final say before it's fully completed. Um, once you've done all of that, there's obviously a save down here at the bottom for you to go in and, and save the final changes that you've made. Seems simple enough. Thank you, Bryce. If anyone uh, needs help with their badging, uh, just hit up our support team anytime. Support at stonesecurity.net. Thank you, Bryce. Have a good day, everybody.